Fifth is Arpoli and Margaglio were sixth in Nagano. 2001 world champions and seven-time Italian champions. Italy has never won an Olympic figure skating medal. They are going for their first medal indeed, and they're sitting in good position after the first compulsory dance. They're the defending world champions, and they have an Olympic judge on this panel. They have not had a great season thus far, though, in competition. Favorites coming in here, Anacine and Pazerat, the European champions, born in Kratz, had a great Grand Prix final, upsetting the field and winning that, but neither of those teams have a judge on the panel. In fact, in the top 10 of the standings so far, Canada and France, the only two teams in the top 10 that don't have a judge on the panel. As you said, this dance is the blues, and the compulsory dance is all about basic skating technique. It's a really a study of edges and turns dressed up in chiffon and done to dance music. <laughs> The only time you'll see any creativity in this dance is at the very beginning and the end. They are allowed eight bars of music for some freedom of expression. And once the dance starts, every step is set. And there's the first dance step right here. As the judges are watching the dance, first of all, they get an overall sense of the couple's speed, how close they're skating together, and how fluid and smooth they are. This step here, that's a Choctaw. It's a turn. Required a deductions for any mistake on, on that turn. Now, we're so preoccupied with judging, but the differences must be very slight in these compulsory dances. You're absolutely right, Tom. The judges here will now zoom in on the skate that's on the ice. They check that it's on an inside, then an outside. And you can see Barbara had a little wobble on the back outside. Maybe you can see it. I couldn't see it. <laughs> well, we'll show you in replay then. The idea is for the dancers to make it look easy and effortless. One way to see if they're out of unison or if they're struggling is to watch the free leg, the leg that is in the air. If those are out of sync, then often they're going in different dire directions because the free leg acts sort of as a rudder, like a rudder on a boat. It'll help steer the couple on deeper curves or shallower curves. So Fuzar Pole and Margaglio of Italy with their second compulsory dance. They came in in third place after the first compulsory dance. The reigning world champions. Three days of the dance competition, two compulsory dances today. Each compulsory dance is worth 10% of the total score. Original dance, 30%, 50% for the free dance. You know, and 10% does not sound like a lot, but it can haunt you. If you have a, a low placement in one of the compulsory dances, it can haunt you for the rest of the competition. I thought they skated that quite well. It was a safe dance. Uh, a little bit stiff in the knees. You know, the blues really asks for smooth, deep knees. And the judges will be uh, compiling their marks. There's the Russian judge. And everyone will be watching her very closely. And Yuri Balkov. Walter Sicaro of Italy. A lot of been uh, ta a lot of, uh, of talk has gone on about the system of judging, and there the Israeli judge, and uh, with the judges representing countries and judging for their countries, it does give an unfair advantage to skaters that have judges on the panel. Plain and simple, a key to solving the problem in judging and skating in general, ice dance in particular is to have the judges judge for an impartial body, not for a country. These are decent marks. First place marks are usually around 5'8", uh, 5'7", uh, range. So you can see there's some room there. And for timing wow. expression, 5'9". And that's what I'm talking about. 
Italian judge. Five well, nine. Welcome to ice dancing. <laughs> Judge's placement temporarily at least in first place with many of the favorites still to skate. In fact, uh, some of those wear the maple leaf on their uniform, born in Kratz from Canada, and we'll see them.